Yeah, so the new Kinect sensor is really a leap forward, as you, as you mentioned. Uh, we have a much bigger field of view, which means that users can get much closer to the sensor. So we work better in small rooms. We also have a wider field of view, which means we work bigger in a larger living rooms where you can sit anywhere in the living room. You don't have to sit directly in front of the TV. And across that big field of view, we have about three times the fidelity. So it's a much more precise fidelity. We can see a lot more about what's going on in the room. The sensor can see about 0.8 meters, but it depends on how tall you are. We have a very tall field of view, which means that you can get several feet closer than you could with a first generation Kinect. And still see you from head to toe. You can see up to six people simultaneously, um, and we can see all of their movement in the living room, up to six people. It's a technology called time of flight, where it actually measures the amount of time it takes for light to travel from the sensor into the room, bounce off the objects and come back. And that's how the sensor is able to see in three dimensions with such high fidelity. Well, for all of the movement, we do that at full 30 frames per second. So 30 times every second, we calculate where all of your joints are in your body, all of your movement. And when people come into the room, we recognize who they are in just a couple seconds. And we think of the hardware as really the eyes and ears in the room, and we want to have as high fidelity eyes and ears as we can to get a really great signal into the system. And that's where the software really comes in, and the software's job is to take that, that vision and that hearing and turn it into an understanding of the room, who the people are, what they're doing, what they're saying. No, there's no motor in the sensor. You just set it up one time and you're good to go. And that tall field of view enables us to get really close without having a tilt motor. Yeah, we have a program called Connect for Windows when we've announced that we're going to bring this new next generation Connect sensor to that program. So Windows developers will be able to get access to the great new fidelity of the new sensor as well as the software stack for that new sensor. I think you know the new Kinect is going to be really exciting for full body gaming, fitness gaming, sports games, dance games, but it's also going to be awesome for controller based games where you can use your voice, you can lean, you know, you can really get into the gameplay, you know who you are, what control you're holding. All of that becomes great input even into controller based games. Thank you.